Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a donut on Blender or in Blender. Uh, and this video is going to be the first part of the tutorial. So when you first open this uh, software called Blender, you see this kind of screen. You can choose general and then you can see this cube here. Okay. So the uh, orange outline around the cube means it's already selected. If not, you can just click on the cube. Uh, after having this cube selected, you can press delete on your keyboard or press X, whatever you want to delete the object. After that, you go to add, choose mesh and then choose torus. Zoom in by scrolling up. This is what you get. And once you add mesh or an object, you see this option here on lower left part of the screen. Click here and you will see these options. If you have uh, clicked outside this object after adding the object, you won't see this option here and it disappears and uh, if you want it back you can just get it back only once by pressing f9 so do not click anywhere once you add this torus this mesh if uh, you lose it just uh, delete it and uh, go to add again and to mesh and to torus okay so once you do that, we're going to go to major radius and drag towards left and decrease the radius. Now, if you press your scroll button or your mouse, you can see it looks better, but still you can, you can decrease it. Now it looks like a donut. Okay. So uh, we can also scroll like this by pressing the scroll um, the scroller scroll whatever you say on your mouse like this and you can check it looks good uh, for the minor segments we're gonna increase it to 16 so that the boxes the the boxes whatever we call the faces of uh, the donor look uh, more like square rather than uh, rectangles okay and major segments would remain the same okay now after that I'm going to show you one thing here uh, there's a small arrow if you drag like this this is going to show the size of the donut okay dimensions here 1.42 meters that's huge um, a donut in real life is not as huge as one meter so we're going to decrease the size to do that uh, click to choose the donut and press s okay on your keyboard to scale and now we're going to drag a mouse and it's going to decrease the size we're going to make it to 0. I'm um, sorry uh, 0. 0.1 uh, yeah something like this okay so when it's 0 0.1, it's around 10 centimeters, which is kind of uh, the size of donut in real life. So once we have done, we're going to make this scale to 1. Right now, it's minus 0 point something something. And that's going to mess your settings uh, if you do not change it to 1. So we're going to choose the object and press control a and choose scale now you can see 
the scale here x is 1 y is 1 and that is z is 1 so we have set the size of the donut now right click on the donut and choose shade smooth you can see it's already quite smooth we're gonna make it smoother uh, as we can see the edges here are not so smooth we're gonna make it smoother by selecting the donut and going to this modify properties go to add modifier and add subdivision surface now we can see it's even smoother here levels viewport is one change it to two now it's even smoother okay we have now got a smooth donut but it doesn't look like donut because it's very very smooth plain in real life donut is kind of bumpy looking so we're gonna make it that way so to do that we're gonna go to edit mode edit mode and click outside we're not going to select all so here we can see this donut now we can edit it uh, if i cho uh, choose one of the points here and press g to grab and if i do this this is gonna make some bumpy thing on the donut but it's gonna uh, move only one uh, point and we don't want that so we're going to choose this option called proportional editing turn it on okay just click on it now if, if i choose a point or vertex and press g uh, this is moving the whole donut because uh, the selection area is huge when it's uh, set to proportional editing so if you scroll up not down scroll up keep scrolling up you'll see this circle okay this is huge the selection is huge that's why it's moving the whole donut so we're going to decrease it to around like this size okay that's the thing we need click uh, but still we need one thing okay let's press ctrl z and uh, I'm gonna show you one thing we have done proportional editing we can uh, we have chosen one point here after that instead of uh, pressing G we press alt s alt s is shrink and flatten it shrinks or flattens the surface so basically what it does it it moves towards only uh, one side, uh, side okay and it moves towards the uh, the point facing um I mean towards the point where the bird is where the vertex is facing so you can do this and click if if you don't understand what I mean I will show you one thing here if you choose the top part of this thing one of the vertices on top part and press alt s it's gonna just go up and down not right or left okay it only goes up and down that's what we want choose random points okay we're gonna choose random points here uh, it will take some time We're gonna make it bumpy also here the 
donut cannot be a perfect circle, so we're gonna uh, make it a little uh, realistic here. We're gonna add bumps here and here, okay. Okay, so now we can see it's kind of bumpy donut. In, in real life, it's not perfectly smooth. So we have got the real donut. Alternatively, if you do not uh, want to take a long time, you just can uh, go to select and you have select random. Okay, and you can just do Alt S and just do like this. Choose whatever is uh, convenient for you. Okay, now come to object mode. Now we have a bumpy looking donut ready. Okay, so for this video, we're gonna stop here and we will meet in the next video. Thanks for watching.